Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's get started. We are in Pleasant Valley and we just got done with a major haul and stuff like that and we've done a little bit of hunting but we have more to do. So let's take a look at our inventory. We got half a liter of water. We do need to make more water. Um, so I think I'm just going to spend this time to do that because we just, we just did a little bit of hunting. So I'm going to try to see, are there, I'm just going to see what limbs we have, what we have in terms of wood on the outside here that we can use. And this bear can be around anywhere. I haven't seen the bear in quite a while. He was hanging around here for a lot. Uh, let's see, that's a wolf. We don't stink, do we? Oh, we do, yeah. I have some meat on me. Okay, well, we can get this guy closer. Where is he? He's right there. Alright. So he's gone. Um, yeah, we do have meat on us, so we should be attracting a bear if the bear is close enough to us. <clears throat> I'm just not seeing him. And I don't see... You know, any, any limbs, like, very close to us, so... Uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to break down reclaim wood inside. Oh, there's the bear! This is really good, because we're going to be able to put an arrow in his head, and then we can just get inside. So I'm going to put an arrow in him, I'm going to get right inside there. There we go. And then we're going to come upstairs, come out a different door. Come out this door here. don't see him yet. I hear him. Well, he should die pretty soon. Right? So that's this bear, and there's the other bear up on the road. We want to get him, too. So, yeah, I don't see him quite. Let's go out the other door. I could go out this one. Actually, I'll go out this door. There's the wolf. I wonder where the bear is. Where are you, Mr. Bear? Do you have a blood trail? Hmm. Now he would have... He would have started to run after us, but he wouldn't have gotten very far. We have some crows by the wolf carcass. Hmm, where did the bear go? I don't think he would have ran off.
We got a couple feathers here. Because we did hear him before, but we haven't heard him recently. So I think at some point he was over here. Hmm. Well, let's uh, fill up on food. We're going to drop this off. And... And we're going to go... See if we can find this bear anywhere. Um, okay, now we don't stink. We have no meat on us. It's the evening, it's warmer out, so we don't have an issue with that. I think he just disappeared. I don't, there's no tracks. I don't know where else he would be. Hmm. That has to be a bug, because he didn't run off, and he was there, and we just came in and out. We just came in and out of the doors, and that's all we did. I mean, it wasn't anything crazy. Uh, and he's just not around. There were no tracks. Uh, let me just check. I hit him about... And the blood spatter is gone, too. The impact. And there's no arrow here. Okay, so let's get up on this ridge. See if we can see him anywhere. Yeah, I don't know where his den is, is the problem. So let's check our stats. Um, so we've only killed two bears so far. <clears throat> so the bear is still alive. I mean, it hasn't even been that long since we killed him. We just don't know where he is. As soon as that bear kills get to three, we'll know he's dead somewhere, but we just don't know where he is right now. I'm going to go over here and get a couple more rabbits. We are almost out of water. So we are going to be making our water very soon. Still haven't made any... Um, any fire-hardened arrows yet. So I'm just going to get these guys with regular arrows. Maybe I do need to walk around with a couple carcasses on me to attract the bear back. <laughs> oh, man. All right, 
Yeah, we stink. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bear, where are you? Where are you, Mr. Bear? I smell really good. Yep, he's still alive. Bears killed only two, so... Now maybe if I walk back towards <clears throat> the house... Uh, we'll see some action. I don't know. He's got one arrow in his head. Maybe since we stink... We'll get some action. There's our wolf. Are you going to spawn again or what? You have one arrow in you, but you just literally disappeared. Just. And that, my friends, is impossible. <laughs> uh, he wasn't running he was hanging out and so he should be just kind of hanging around that's what should be happening well let's just do this then Eh, use our hands, right? So we're killing a bunch of time doing this, right? We're an expert at harvesting. Is the bear around? Huh. Where did the bear go? Get this other one. I'm going to drop this meat off, take one piece. No bear down here, huh? Drop these pelts here. Drop these guts. Okay. <clears throat> now... Guess we're just gonna make some water. 
Let's check the stats. He's probably dead. He's not dead yet. Huh. Okay, well, he should be dead soon. Let's get some more clean wood for the water. Let's head upstairs. All right. Well, I should wait till the fires started. But... All right, we need water. Oh, Sixty-five percent. We can do it, right? There you have it. Press this reclaim wood. I'm gonna keep that fur wood on me because I don't have um I don't have any coal right now actually. Alright, water. Two liters. Water. One liter. Water. There we go. It'll be making water for quite a while, so. Let's see if there's anything we need to craft while we wait. Nothing? Okay. And the rest are pots. Love the six slot stove. Love it. Okay, and then all of this should be set. Put water, put water. Next. Two liters. Two liters, two more, and how much does that give us? Eleven. Wow. Yeah. Six slot stove. That bear dead yet? <laughs> Let's look. He's still alive. Something must have happened to him. Because I got an arrow in him. And so he should be dead by now. It's a headshot. So I must have bugged out or something. The record on interloper of bears, 17 bears. I'd survived 226 days the last time, I guess. Yeah, we were almost halfway. At least I think that was the last one. I don't know. Okay, so... Yeah, so back to the bears. Yeah, only... Yeah. Huh. Something is afoot.
Yeah, I'm going to do three rounds of this. Three rounds of, of uh, two liter pots there, I think. Let's get that. It's there. All right, how much we got there? Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna do another round. One more round of the two liters. Two more rounds of the one liters and the skillets, and then that'll be it. Just want to maximize the amount of water we're getting out of this. There you go. Another liter, and then one more liter, and then that'll be it. 45 minutes still boiled. And then we can get some torches, right? All right, let me take this pot before I forget. Take that, take that, take that. Take this. And we'll take this, and then we'll get some torches. I'm not taking that one. We can be a little pickier now. Alright, that's that. Oh, I can't move. <laughs> uh, I have too much water on me. Okay. Well, that's a good problem to have, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and drop. Um, we'll drop 25 liters. There we go. Now I can move. <laughs> okay. That was pretty cool. Misbehaving. Should be able to make them a lot closer than that. Like, uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that really. Wrong button. Yeah, I wonder why it's doing that. Yeah, see, it should be like that. That's interesting. Oh well. Excuse me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Now, I'm just going to finish putting these up here. I mean, they're not going to look really pretty, but you know. what can you do? <laughs> it's just not playing ball with me here. Yeah, let's just get them up here. They won't be pretty. Sounds like we got a blizzard outside. We're almost done with this. Eh, 
And that's it for now. Okay. Oh, we gotta get a little bit of shut out here. Pretty tired. Let's sleep six. If we don't, if we don't have three bears killed, then that means a bug happened, and he, yep, uh, the game, he just disappeared, and he took my arrow with him. So he, since he disappeared, that he shouldn't have triggered the respawn cycle. In other words, like he should still be around. I mean, I would think. So. But we're going to go, let's see, I haven't been grabbing, yeah, I gotta grab this other bow <laughs> when I'm using it. Uh, since I'm not actually going to drop this, and I'm going to put this over here. Well, let me just put it on the ground right there. That kind of blends in. Fit here. There we go. Okay, so I just want to make sure I'm using up the other bow. Now, I wanted to go downstairs. We're going to make three more arrows. Because we only have seven. So let's make three more. A cabin fever risk. How much we have? Oh, not a whole lot. Sounds a little windy outside. Okay, so we got one arrowhead, two, and then. How many feathers do we have? We've got nine. Okay, that's all we need. And then we'll make three arrows. Is that? We're going to go take a little nap. Well, actually, no, let's not do that. I think, let's see. Cabin fever. Yeah, we have cabin fever risk. So why don't we just, we're just going to go, we're going to head over to the cave to go ahead and sleep in there. Um, I'm hoping that's not our bear's cave. Uh, we'll just see what we run into. Huh? Now I think I think the way this works is if there are bones inside the cave, then that's a live bear cave. Uh, I think that's it. Let me get up on this ridge here. Hmm. 
So when this wasn't a bear spawn uh, cave over this way, and I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping the bear. He, I'm hoping he's spawning from way over there in a cave over there. I'm hoping that this is not the one. Uh, but this is when I'm in Pleasant Valley. This is what I usually use. Uh, this uh, cave over here to combat cabin fever risk. So when I'm making the bear coat, for example, I'll go and uh, I'll go back to the homestead. I'll work on the bear coat all day, and at night I'll come back over here and then I'll just sleep over here. I haven't seen him this close over here. We have. We have seen him though, up top, up on the top of this thing. So this this bear gets around. This bear really really gets around if this is his cave. I'm hoping this is not his cave down here. There's a deer carcass over there we could harvest. We could kill some time. Let's grab these mushrooms. I hear some birds. I forgot to make some more uh forgot to make some hardened arrows again. Okay, so let's take a look inside here. I don't see any bones yet. Okay, so this is not his cave. Okay, that's good. Um, why don't we... Can grab this deer. It is pretty cold out, but our carcassing, our carcass harvesting is higher. All right, let's do that. We're gonna lose condition. That's okay though. Uh, well, we we need more sticks. <laughs> okay, we'll just use the fir wood. extra skillet with me.
What do we have for teas? Oh, it's time to make more teas. And that'll be it. And let's make some fire hardened arrows. Oh, wait. I can't do that yet. I have to get. I need another stick. You need five sticks total. Is there a stick around? Just one stick. All we need is one stick. Just one stick. I'm gonna have to use one of these branches. Seven minutes, yeah, let's do it. Oh, we got this. Alright, let's go. Oh, need more feathers too. Need five feathers on us. Oh, I can't do it anyway. Okay. Well, uh, it's time for bed, right? So, let's go to bed. The cabin fever risk should be gone in the morning. And those things can just stay right there. It's early morning. All right, now we don't stink. Accidentally crouched there for a second. Okay. Heading back to the farmstead. And just to double check. Yeah, that bear took our arrow with him, and he disappeared. So I'm going to have to be careful of that. I think the best thing for me to do then is I can just put an arrow in him and then get inside the car. That would be the better way. Because if I load like that, if I get into a load area like the house, then... Chances are Chances are he could just disappear on me, you know? We don't stink, so we shouldn't attract any predators to us. We will start to freeze right before we get to the, the house though. Can't see very well. The cabin fever risk is gone.
time is it? Oh. I want to repair at some point once I get my second bearskin coat, I will switch. I'll probably switch over to these combat pads again. So I just want to repair these. Let's see. I st still thinks it's dark out. Okay, well, let's craft some mushrooms. And then it'll be light out. And then I can repair the pants real quick. Because I just don't want these things to degrade into nothing. All right. Now let's drop these again. Let's put them up on the counter there. Okay, uh, let's go fill up on food, and we'll head back up. Let's see what time we got. Okay, yep, we got plenty of time. Actually, I might as well... Is that outlet? I think we're just going to <clears throat> fill up on our energy. Mm. Hopefully it's a nice day still. Uh-oh, did I speak too soon? Sounds windy. Uh, it is not good hunting weather. See our uh, temperature is almost, almost we're almost freezing already. <laughs> so this wind needs to go away. Is it going away? It might be. I don't know. Okay, we might as well break down something. I think I'll break down this chair that's always in my way. This guy right here. You, sir, are gone. Okay, now we're hoping that the weather's better. It's been an hour. It is still very cold out. It's not too windy for a fire, but... It is pretty windy out. Yeah, this is not hunting weather. Not hunting weather. Okay, let's go break down some more stuff. Head down to the basement. Ah, that's too bad. Let's grab this. Sounds like a blizzard outside.
And we'll drop five. Yep. Well, there's that. I might as well grab one piece. Back in. Get a couple of liters of water. And let's break down some other stuff. Okay, what else should be broken down? Break this guy down here. Break this down. And the blizzard should be done. Let's see what we got. Nine pieces of cloth. Drop those there. Okay. Can hunt in this weather. It is not cold out. Is the bear around? Don't see the bear. I wish I knew where his den was. Okay, well. So this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to head to... What do we have? We have no cattails at all, either. <laughs> okay. We're going to head to where that other bear is. I think I'm a little hesitant to do that first. Let me get... We need to get food. I need to fill up on food first before we head over there. Um, there are cattails, but I have been harvesting them quite a bit already, so I mean, there's not that many. It's a thing. Uh, I wish I would have filled up on this. Okay. Fill up. And not that one. All right, let's just bring that with. Okay, we are going to stink, but that's fine. That is fine. I'd rather stink and have food with me, actually, at this point. Okay. Well, now I know I can't just go inside the house because a bear might just disappear. <laughs> so uh, we'll have some company over here. We'll have some wolves be attracted to us. That's okay. Target practice. And we'll get some more feathers. We might be able to make some fire hardened arrows pretty soon. There is a wolf around here. I saw him. He sh should be coming over to us shortly. Of course, there could also be a moose spawn over this way, too. <clears throat> The marsh over here is the only place I know of in Pleasant Valley that the moose spawns. I don't know. There might be another location. I just don't know it. Um, we'll just have to see. I don't think I've been in that um, 
that barn over there, right by the forest. Huh, I'm surprised no wolves have been coming around. There's a deer. Let's swing over this way. Uh, it's a nice evening. There's another deer over there. Been in here? Okay, there's nothing in here. I don't see anything in here. Okay, nothing in here. Ah, a soda. Take that. All right, we'll go through this forest, and then we'll head over to Thompson's Crossing, and then we're going to pass through the marsh. We're going to see if the moose is in the area there on the way. So we're heading towards where the other bear is spawning along that main road. That's that's our that's that's where we're headed. Because I don't think, I mean, we're going to keep an eye out for the bear in here, but I don't think the bear is in here um, based on where he's walking around. I think his cave is closer towards, I can't remember what that place is called, it, but it's on the western side of the map, basically, along the frozen river there. Uh, I think his cave is over that way, I think. And the only thing about hunting the moose this close to evening is we just had a blizzard, so I mean we might have an aurora tonight. And we'll have vanishing animals again. Right? Um, okay, so we're just going to head straight. We grabbed some more birch bark, some more sticks. Uh, so we're just going to head straight. And see what we can find. Okay. Well, this is it, but, you know, I don't see the moose here, so I don't know where... I'm going to have to look up on the internet where is the second moose place we haven't seen any moose at all yet in this whole run we haven't seen a single moose hmm Okay, it's starting to get cold out now. The only thing is, I haven't hunted 
don't think I've ever hunted the bear uh, on the road yet in this whole game. I don't think I've ever actually hunted him. Because there was a period of time when he wouldn't spawn over there at all. Uh, they moved him. And then now they moved him back. So I'm not sure in terms of protection for that bear. Uh, about the only thing I would know to do here is to make a fire and then yeah so we're just gonna kinda go up this way make a fire and then uh, use the fire as a shield and then wait for the bear to bleed out. On my last run that I recorded I, I showed how to do that so we're going to head up this way. See if I can get up on this. Okay, I'm able to climb up. And then so we'll head up this direction. We do still stink. Let me just eat this guy real quick. We have one piece of meat on us to attract the bear to us. So we should be getting closer to the road. <clears throat> and then once I do this, I'm going to have to figure out if there's a structure I can get on that can protect me or if I should use the fire route. Okay, so now we're on the road. And we're actually a bit north from where he's at. His cave is actually right over here. I believe his cave is right near here. This is the area where there's a car, I think, at the end of this. But I believe his cave is... I thought it was kind of closer to over here. We have uh, that car over there, so we can lure the bear over there and put an arrow at him and then get in the car. That's an option. Um... Okay, we are too far south. Okay, so because that's the mine. Okay, so we are too far south. So we're not... So his cave is actually more up this way. And it's north of the uh, where this car is. Because I, I saw the cabins over here, and I thought it was further south than the cabins along the road. But that must not be the case here, so... Let's say we're over encumbered so much. Must be borderline. Because I have a bunch of cloth with me and leather from breaking down that furniture. I didn't dump that before we took off. Okay, so his cave. I think, okay, his cave must be past these cabins. And there's a wolf. So his cave must be past these cabins. I think before we get to the incline. How many more calories do we have? Only 290 calories on that. Okay. The wolf is going to be attracted to us pretty soon, because we smell. We're going to need to get on some level ground here.
Is he coming this way yet? Yeah, he is. Hello, Mr. Wolf. How are you this evening, sir? Beautiful night, huh? It was a beautiful night, wasn't it? Okay, so he's gone. And what do we have in here? Anything? There was a mod where uh, searching a, a, uh, a container that's already empty would go a lot faster. There was a mod I saw for that. But again, I don't have any success with the mods, so I couldn't tell you. I might watch a video though. I mean, they're up, but they're always changing. The thing is, they're always changing. Uh, every major patch, I think they kind of alter things a little bit in terms of saves and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know how much that keeps up. Okay, so this is where the bear spawns, right around here. There's crows somewhere. But the bear spawns right around here. He's supposed to. I don't know where his cave is. I believe it's right around here, though. Somewhere around here. But this is where we usually see him. Maybe he's up there. And again, if we do see him, I'm not sure where I'm going to try to take him. I'd probably just have to do the fire route, is what I was saying before. Use the fire as a barrier. Okay, there are some... There's some crows right there. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's the bear. Okay, this is the bear's cave. Now, he can be sleeping in here, so we have to be careful. Okay, he's not in here. And I don't see any carcass in here at all either. That's interesting because he he was spawning here. He was spawning right here. Huh. Oh man. Okay. Well, we're pretty far up. So what time is it? Okay, it's right before the sun is about to go down entirely. <clears throat> so I might as well head up here. What time we got? We're just about over time now, so. Um, all right, what we'll do, we'll head into the bunker up here and what do we have, uh, five calories? Actually, no, I ate the whole thing. Okay. We no longer stink. So. So we'll go to the bunker and then we'll swing back down this way again in the morning. Uh, it's going to be dark out. It's going to be really cold. I'm just hoping that. Or you know what? We could stay over in this cave up here. Uh, this is the park area. I forgot the name of this park. Okay, these were the cabins I thought I was kind of getting up on before. Okay, so let's go up into this park area. And we'll head through. 
Like, I remember take all my clothes off, and then we'll head through there, and then we'll sleep in there, and then we'll come back out in the morning. We got to get past these hills here, and then we can get to it. <laughs> oh, man. If you heard that... <clears throat> A wolf started charging me right away, and I'm going to repair this ankle. There's the wolf. Oh, I'm crouched. Okay, yep. So I got into, I was inside the charge radius by the time the wolf saw me. So he started charging me right away, so I ran, <laughs> ran over the other side of the boulder. I didn't have time to like look to see where he was coming from. I would have gotten to an entanglement. So, yeah. So that's what I did there. <laughs> I decided to run, and then I think at one point he stopped, but <clears throat> by then I think I was kind of jumping down the other side of the slope there, so. They say you're supposed to, you know, go around corners and make sure you're giving, going wide on all these things and stuff like that, right, so that, um, I think there's a fire accelerant here oh no it's a thermos oh we got another thermos here very nice very nice and then I was crouched there so I couldn't it wasn't let me draw my bow because um, I'm not level five yet and then I had to stand up All right, let's head in here. And then we'll have to take off our clothes before we go under the waterfall. There can be some goodies in here. There'll be one cup of coffee. Coffee is guaranteed in here. Oh, we might be able to get some coal in here as well. This might be one of those caves that has coal in it. <laughs> if you recall, we were in one cave. Uh, I think it was in Timberwolf that had no coal in it. This cave had none. No coal. No coal at all. Okay. And this does have coal in it. Good. We need a coal. Okay. I'm not going to go that way yet. I just want to go this way. I think that this will be another dead end. I don't know this cave very well. But this is where we're sleeping tonight. Ah, another marine flare. Very, very nice. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting turned around. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so there's that. I don't want to go that way yet. Okay. Now this might be the other way that joins in. Right there. These sticks. And then this, yep, this is this is coming at it from the other direction. All right. So 
so we can see we were about to come in here and then we went that way instead okay so let's go this way and then we'll go through the waterfall and it's pretty rare but sometimes you can find a bedroll in here <clears throat> But my go-to location for the bedroll is Mystery Lake. I, I'll i go out on a limb and say I think <clears throat> a bedroll is guaranteed in Mystery Lake somewhere. But that's just my theory. Alright. Quite a bit of wood in this place. Okay, now we just take off all of our clothes. Huh. All right, there you have it. And we're here, and yeah, no, no bedroll in here. Of coffee. No, nope, don't want that. All right. Nothing over here. I was gonna say I thought there was another section. Hmm. That was a little bit larger back here, but I guess it's not, right? That's really it, huh? Huh, okay. Well, we are going to spend the night here. And that's good for now. And it's early morning. How much are we over? Uh, we're less than five over, so we're fine. Okay. We're gonna head back, and we're gonna see if the bear is out. It's interesting, when you take the socks off, um, then the uh, those things come off too. <laughs> there we go. We are going to want to wait till our temperature goes back up.
Okay, not just yet. We're going to wait just a little bit to warm back up. There we go. Get the bow out, and now we can go. Oh, terrible, terrible weather. Terrible weather. Wow. Terrible, terrible weather. Okay. I'm going to go back in here. We're going to wait a little bit longer. Then we will take a nap. All right, much better weather, still really cold, but we are banking that we'll find the bear and we'll use the fire. That's what I think we're going to do. Those crows are for that dead wolf that tried to ambush us. Wow, yeah. Should be getting warmer out though. Yeah, it's uh gonna be getting warmer. I think the wolf was, uh, I just got, I got into his attack radius as soon as he saw me. And so he started coming after me right away. So this episode will run a little long, but it's because not, not, not much exciting is, nothing that exciting has happened yet, actually. Let's see. Let's see if I could. I might have been able to come down the frozen stream. I don't know. I just didn't want to chance it. All right, we started to freeze. That's fine because if that bear is out, then I mean it, it is a little windy out. <clears throat> coming up on his cave right now. Okay, he should... If he's around, he should be coming out. Nope. I don't see him. Hmm. 
The first time we came down here, he was right here. I wonder what is going on. Just not having much luck with the big game. The moose or the bear. Come on. It's windy out. We're going into the wind now. And there's a wolf over here. Uh, we got two wolves. I am cold, Mr. Wolf. Alright, well, we're going to have to make a fire because we're going to lose too much condition before we get back. So, uh, Are you kidding me? Wow. I probably just expended a match. I mean, two matches. That's bizarre. And I shouldn't have used that cedar, but oh well. It's okay, we're just going to heat up teas. And that cedar is not going to be enough to warm us up. We'll drink two of these. Get the rest of them up. Can we make? How long does it? How long does it take to make these? See, the thing is. 29 minutes? Oh, gosh. The thing is, we're already, like... Um, yeah, see how, see how cold it is. I mean, it's just not... Yeah, that's the problem. All right, let's get out of here. Bring one torch with me, I suppose. See if it lasts. <laughs> yeah, we just had to stop that uh, the freezing there because look, it's almost midday and it's still this cold out. Because I mean, we're waiting for a bearskin coat, and we need more bear. <laughs> we need more bears, but we can't find them. Found one, but... Uh, he literally disappeared. Walking into the wind still.
going to head this way. Still walking in the wind. We're just going to swing by this marsh over here again to see if that moose is out. And then I'm just going to head back to the farmstead and that'll be it. Actually, I'll just I'll go into the barn right over here. Get a save. Okay, we need another because it's too cold. And I'll just let that go out. No moose, right? No moose. No moose. Where's the moose? <laughs> now we're going with the wind. There's a deer over there, and a wolf over there, another wolf over there, ah, no bears, no moose. Alright, well, let's get inside. All right, everyone, this is where I leave you. Uh, we'll pick it up next episode. Uh, Going to keep doing some more hunting. We just have to do a bit more hunting here, and then we'll make the Trova, and then we'll decide if we're going to head to Coastal Highway yet or not. All right, take care, everyone.